Greetings Freakish Lifeforms, this is the night before the world premiere of Paddington 2. I've got the amazing opportunity to go on the red carpet with all the people that were in the film, um, which is just amazing. The first film was really funny and also Peter Capaldi is going to be there and he's in Doctor Who. And so I'm really, really excited. I'm going to try and get his signature. It's the morning of the event. We're trying to get the little ones dressed. <laughs> so apparently the red carpet is inside the cinema. And now we're just waiting for the cool, famous people to arrive. So I can ambush Peter Capaldi and try and get his autograph. We got the tickets and now we are just waiting. Three to head surfers to your left upstairs. They gave us popcorn and water and You're so British. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a very, very special screening part of the world premiere of Paddington 2. Because this is such an incredible movie and it's such an incredible event, we thought we'd do something very special for you guys. Would you like to meet some very special people? Alright, let me introduce you to some amazing cast and crew from this amazing film. I want to introduce the person whose vision this really is. It reflects Michael Bond's, the spirit of Michael Bond, but it, this is a Paul King film. He is an extraordinary artist, an extraordinary filmmaker. In fact, he resembles Paddington in so many ways. He, he's a, <laughs> yep, he doesn't have a hairy back. He's extraordinary. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul King. All of you know the state of my back hair right now. It's uh, waxed within an inch of its life, so I am in no danger of being mistaken for any kind of a talking mammal. Uh, it's something I need to do, it's something I'm prepared to do. And uh, thank you, David, for drawing everyone's attention to that. Uh, and uh, at the centre of the Brown household, living with Paddington, is one of my favourite performers in the world, Mr. Hugh Bonneville. Sadly, Hugh's uh, on-screen wife, Sally Hawkins, can't be with us today. She says that she's in America making a film. We strongly suspect that she's in prison or rehab because she is, after all, an actress and they are the two homes that they like to inhabit. But uh, she sends her love to all of you. And uh, we are blessed to have their on-screen children here today. It's not always that you get to work with great young performers who are as witty and inventive as, as these guys. And they really bring a huge amount to the parts and make them the fun, uh, interesting and, and slightly different take on, on the characters that, that, that they, we get. And we are very blessed to have, as Judy Brown, Madeline Harris. And as Jonathan Brown, Samuel Justin. is their friend, confidant, wise elder and redoubtable housekeeper, uh, Mrs. Burge, who is played by the absolute legend that is Julie Walters. I just got home after watching the film, which was really funny. It was definitely not the experience I was expecting, but it still went really well. First of all, Peter Capaldi was not there, which I was very disappointed about because I really wanted his autograph. But I still had a really fun time. There was a problem with the red card, so this guy came up to us and told us that his daughter worked for the cinema and that they had like this argument with the council um, which ended up in being like that they couldn't bring 
um, they couldn't put the red carpet outside, which was also disappointing. I know it's a children's film, I, well, it's apparently a family film, but um, I know, but as the fourth doctor in Doctor Who said, what's the point of being a grown up when you can't be childish sometimes? And that's why, apart from my sisters who are younger than me and were like, no, we're too cool for balloons, I was like, yeah, give me a balloon. But the problem was they didn't give me a blue one, and that made me sad. The thing I noticed is it says in cinemas November 10th, but today's November the 5th. And then I remembered it was the world premiere, or pre world premiere, which was really cool. So, overall, it was not what I was expecting, but it was a very funny movie and you should all go and see it.